Yo, what's good, Granny Gang? It's Granny back with another video. In today's video, I have the much anticipated jewelry collection video. At the end of the year, I've realized that I usually come out with a jewelry collection video. Now, obviously, I have some of the same jewelry, but every year I kind of just want to update you guys on what I've been having in my rotation as far as chains, rings, bracelets, grills. What else I got? Um, earrings. I just wanted to give you guys an update. So I have everything laid out in front of me today. I'm going to take y'all through some of my most worn pieces. I'll show you some old pieces too, but we're going to show the newer stuff first and then we're going to move along from there. But before we get into the video, what I did want to make sure you guys do is smash the like button. We've been going absolutely insane and these videos are brought to you guys for free. So if you can do your boy one favor, it would be to smash the like button. So do that, subscribe, of course, and lastly, follow the boy on Instagram. Now, the Instagram's been going up. I ain't gonna lie to you. Crazy fit pics on there. So if you don't follow that yet, you need to tap in. But we're gonna go ahead and hop into some jewelry now. What I wanted to show first was some jewelry that I got from Vitaly. So shout out to them for blessing your boy with some stainless steel jewelry pieces. And these are absolutely insane. I've worn them recently. But what I wanna show you guys first is this chain right here. Now I'm gonna leave up the name of each piece specifically so you guys can go and shop it in the link down in the description. But this chain right here is absolutely insane. It's a choker style chain with these, these Hermes links Hermes links the chain is crazy one thing it has is this loop so you can put the other end of the chain through it so it kind of almost hangs from your necklace but definitely something very edgy very rock star aesthetic type vibes and I just think it's fine the next chain we have is this iridescent chain with very similar links now these links are a little bit more square than the one I just previously showed but this is also a choker style necklace I believe this is a 18 inch if I'm not mistaken it might be a 20 I've kind of got to see how it hangs on the neck but this iridescent style is crazy it almost reminds me of some pieces that Virgil Abloh has dropped previously but this joint is crazy now the next piece that I want to show you guys is this curved style bracelet and these links are absolutely huge bro and they just hit so different so I put these along with my outfit that I wore for my birthday and I just think it is a beautiful touch so if you want a crazy crazy pop without having like any crazy like diamonds or stones in it you can go ahead and shop this piece right here but lastly from them we got two rings right here now the first ring is this triple x ring and honestly i just like rings that have words on it or have this type of style this bulkier style so i got this for the pinky y'all know i got the mood ring which i'm probably show y'all later but this is gonna go right along with it and you also have this super fiery ring right here that actually is like split down the middle but the aesthetic of it is crazy definitely got to pair this along with some of my rings now like i said all those pieces are stainless steel which is a great material for jewelry but we're gonna move on into a smaller category which is earrings now i love wearing earrings so this is definitely one of my stronger points in my jewelry collection but i want to start off with a more recent purchase which is this chrome hearts baby fat earring right here now if you watch my previous videos you've seen that i picked this up not too long ago but this chrome hearts piece right here is a silver cross earring and honestly i think just the exclusivity of chrome hearts in general kind of makes this earring a lot cooler than it is but it's definitely fire i wear it almost every day since i've bought it so definitely a cool piece it did run me for quite a bit of money but we ain't really worried about that if we got a good product so you know what I'm saying? Got the chrome heart piece. Next up, we have some of my favorite earrings, which are these Vivian Westwood Mayfair Bass Relief earrings. Now, what I will say is a lot of fashion jewelry is made with like either plating or the underlying material is a brass or something like that. So I believe the underlying material for these is brass so i would stay away from getting them wet but one thing i will say is that i've had them for maybe months now i want 
to say. So it's been a hot little minute since I've had these and nothing has gone wrong with them yet. I'm sure they're going to tarnish over time, so keep that in mind. But they are by Vivian Westwood and they are definitely fire. They're huge and they stand out. So one of my favorite pair of earrings right here. Moving on, we got this new piece that I just recently purchased and I showed it in the hall right before this. But it's this North Skull Drop Skull earring. But this drink right here is absolutely insane, bro. I got this nice drop down with the skull. Now, I mentioned in the last video that they also have a different variant variation of this I want to say with the cross now I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure I've seen the cross when I was shopping on there but this skull right here is definitely fire it has this nice like prism triangular type of stud in the actual earring part that goes in your ear but definitely a cool vibe now, with that earring in particular I like to pair it with my new Fendi ear cuff that I just recently got from Farfetch so shout out to them but this joint right here is absolutely crazy like I was mentioning I did want to get some different piercings on my ear I just haven't yet and this one was kind of like the tester to make sure that, you know what I'm saying, it looks cool on me, you feel me? Moving on, we got three earrings from Aparo Jewelry. Now, I've had these for almost over a year now, and one of them is the cross earring. Well, actually, two of them is the cross earring. So these came in a pair, but this one right here is one that I wear often, and it is this lightning bolt dangle earring. So both of these are definitely a vibe if you like that, like, hoop earring mixed with, like, the dangle cross. This is definitely probably going to be right up your alley all of these earrings are sterling silver with cubic zirconia stones in them so you're definitely able to wear them very very often get them wet or whatever and you'll still be straight so moving towards the end for the earrings we got these two louis vuitton stainless steel earrings that i actually got off amazon i'll try to link down below if they still have them available but i went ahead and scooped these real real quick but we're gonna go ahead and move on to the rings now the rings is something that gets asked about quite a bit so definitely excited to show you guys what i have today but some of the more new rings that I've picked up are these two by Aparo and one of them is this super like big star ring now you probably see most celebrities or most rappers have this style of ring now I picked it up solely for the purpose to show it off in like shoots and stuff like that i really don't wear it much on a regular basis i also got this star and moon ring to match it not to match it but i just thought it was cool as well so now another ring that gets asked about quite a bit is the mood ring now i kind of mentioned it earlier in the video but this mood ring i got from shop gld a while ago i'm not too sure if they still carry it but definitely a fire ring got it for the pinky next up i have this huge stone ring from aparo as well now i got this joint for the ring finger on the left side and it just hits perfectly with the mood ring so i then got this skull ring right here which is actually like a bird skull with these bird like rib cage that goes around it to hold the ring on your finger this joint is absolutely insane bruh i will put up where i got it so you guys can shop it on their instagram now i'm gonna show you guys these three at the same time because i got them all from cole's fine jewelry now this one at the bottom is this I don't even know what kind of design or style this is, but it's a crazy ring and it has small diamonds in it. So it definitely is a cool look. I wear it on my right pinky. Then I offset my left side with these two iced out rings that I got right here. Now I bought these rings at the same time, maybe like two years ago. So this smaller one has actually like missed a stone and it's fell out, but we still vibing. We still chilling wearing these rings. Next up for the rings, we got this super dope sterling silver ring from the silver stone and it's almost like this huge gucci link type of ring now getting towards the end we have these two rings right here that i bought when i first really started getting into rings and buying multiple rings i got these two stainless steel joints from amazon this first one is a curb style ring that i usually just wear somewhere in my middle fingers or something like that and then i got this super small ring with the wings for my pinky but definitely two solid stainless steel rings now lastly for the rings i also got from amazon but it is this dragon ring that kind of wraps around my pointer finger and i think it's a cool touch to a lot of the outfits but sometimes i don't wear it just because it kind of gets caught and scratches up on a lot of things but the design of it is definitely fire now i kind of want to save the chains for last because i know y'all really want to see the chains but i want to go ahead and get into the bracelets because i recently picked up a new bracelet from downtown la shopping for jewelry and i got this sterling silver i'm not even quite sure what the name of this link is but it's crazy bro it's almost like a 3d 
square type of look i don't even know how to you know what I'm saying? Explain it, but you guys will be able to see it. It's definitely fire. I want to say I got it from Silver Unlimited. I'm not quite sure if that is the actual name of the store or the wholesaler that I bought it from. Now, another bracelet that's pretty recent is this Alix buckle bracelet right here. Now, I kind of sold this off a lot in my videos already, so I'm not really going to talk too much about it. I actually got a matching piece that you guys always see me wear, but we're going to talk about it when we get to the chain. But moving on, we got two bracelets from Apparel Jewelry. Now, these are more like fashion jewelry pieces that I wear for like photo shoots and stuff like that but we have this infinity bracelet which is crazy it has spikes on it and it's definitely one of the pieces that stands out the most when you wear it on your wrist but definitely a cool vibe and then we have the more standard cuban link bracelet that everybody sees or has and i just think it is a vibe when it comes to jewelry so lastly for the bracelets we got the good old pearl bracelet now i definitely bought this in pair with the pearl necklaces that i'm going to show later but definitely need to have some pearl joints in there for sure now right before we get into the chains i wanted to first show y'all the grills that i have now i only have three of them so i want to show y'all the bigger set that i have right here which is a full top and bottom eight on eight three tone solid gold grill so they have an alternate tone of yellow gold rose gold and white gold and honestly i just got this as like a celebratory grill i forgot even what i was celebrating maybe it was for moving at the time i think i bought this right before i moved to la so this was kind of like a gift to myself um but custom gold grills definitely has a good customer service and they really make some quality grills so now for the smaller grills that i got i also got from custom gold grills but this joint right here is a open face double cap iced out in zircon blue zircon to be specific and it's just fire bro like this is something that i wear when i'm just trying to be a lot more subtle the full top and bottom piece can kind of be a bit much sometimes so definitely wanted to like chill out a little bit with this piece now this last grill i actually didn't get from custom gold grills i forgot the name of the other shop that i went to i'll pop it up on the screen but this was my first grill and i got it with like this split open face grill on the fang and then i got the other tooth iced out but definitely a cool piece so with that all out the way we are going to go ahead and move into the chains now i know y'all think this is the most important part because everybody wants to have something like hanging from their neck you feel me so i want to go ahead and start off with this chain that i actually revived recently when i went downtown and got some silver I got another box style chain to fit my two cross pendants. Now I have these two diamond cross pendants. I believe one is diamond and then one is um, crystal. So, but having them two on here at the same time is definitely cool because it kind of just, I don't know, it just, it just adds a little bit more weight to this super thin chain. We'll go ahead and move into the next chain, which I just showed off in my last clothing haul. But this one right here is by North Skull as well. And it is a rosary chain. Now definitely a cool chain has some nice details in it um but it just flows when you don't want to wear something super heavy um i actually paired a lot with this double cross chain that i just showed you guys but got the rosary chain now moving on we have the alix buckle chain now y'all always ask me about this chain even though i know a lot of you guys know what it is but some of you guys don't but the alix roller coaster buckle chain is definitely one of my more favorite pieces to wear as of recent it is fashion jewelry as well i believe they do have some in silver but other than that one of my more favorite pieces to wear is by hard jewelry and it's this biohazard link chain now this is a super rare link like i've never seen anybody else make this link right here so definitely had to grab it on a restock that happened maybe like a year ago so definitely can't get it now unless for some reason they restock it but definitely a crazy chain it's actually a bit short i think it's an 18 inch and it's like a choker choker bro but for the next chain we got my infamous bubble letter j and g that i've worn for so much since like 2018 but got these from um what is the jewelry place called popular jewelry popular jewelry is where i picked this up now popular jewelry has a bunch of popular people that has came through the jewelry shop i kind of put up some pictures of some famous people that have came through there but definitely picked this up last time i went to new york moving on we have the most asked about and i can't even believe that i'm saying this again because everybody still asks me about this even though i've like explained it a million and one times but the pearls are from jc penny i did not buy them in a pair i bought them separately they 
may not have this exact model on the website anymore. They're like an adjustable length, so you guys can kind of see them be shorter on me or longer on me. It has these chains at the end that kind of like allows you to adjust the length of it, but two of my most worn pearls that people ask me about but moving on we got some custom jewelry now this one is from shop gld that i also believe that i purchased in like 2018 but it is this nice like nameplate chain now one thing i would say when you're going to buy this is i originally wanted it to be a shorter chain and i didn't take into consideration the length that the actual nameplate would be so it's a bit longer than what i anticipated but definitely still a dope chain nonetheless also from shop Top GLD, they actually blessed your boy with a bubble chain. Now, I actually don't really wear this much at all, if we being honest, but I think it's just cool to have, and it's always cool to have stuff with your name on it. And it's actually the silver and gold bonded version. So this isn't just like the big plated jewelry. This is actually like a very like solid pendant. Moving on, we have one of my bigger link chains that I haven't worn in a minute, but I definitely throw it in every now and then. But it is the sterling silver chain that I actually purchased from Amazon. And then I threw on this Nike keychain on top of it. So I kind of just clipped them together. And a lot of people think it's like some crazy custom Nike curb chain, but it's really not. It's just like a little combination that I kind of creatively made myself. Now moving on towards the end, we have this chain from Silverstone, which is actually a super calm chain. It has a razor blade at the end of it. And this is just one of those chains that I just wear when I'm just chilling at the crib and I still want to have like a little piece of jewelry on or something like that. But lastly for the chains, we got this one that I got from Streetwear Kitchen. Now this is like a resin made chain, but it's like resin mixed with metal. So it kind of has like this curb link chain on the left side of it Then it has like these Hermes links on the right side and then it has like a like Knockoff Elix buckle you get what I'm saying? So I don't know I had this before I had the Elix piece and I thought it was really dope It's still really dope and it's in all black and you don't see black jewelry So so that is pretty much it for the video I wanted to make sure I throw in one of these at least every year or maybe twice a year So you guys can kind of stay up to date on some jewelry pieces that I'm wearing and where you can buy them from But that's pretty much it for the video if you enjoyed it Make sure you go down and bless me with a like bro. I'm telling you the videos are free so that's like kind of, you know what I'm saying, the way your boy kind of brings the channel up. But that's it, man. Appreciate y'all for watching. I'll be back to you with more. Peace.